Welcome to the 2022 Mega Series with VM Blog. Today, I have the pleasure of having Omri Orgad, who's the Managing Director of North America for Bright Data. And today's topic is going to be around data management and data protection. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Brian and David, for having me. Um, Omri, could you tell us a little bit about the company uh, and you know what your company does and what you're doing here in 2022? So um, Bright Data is the market leader in uh, uh, collecting publicly available information. We allow uh, enterprises, Fortune 500 uh, startups to collect mass amounts of information to make uh, immediate uh, business decisions. Um, as for 2022, I think we are all having a very uh, interesting year and we see different trends, anything from uh, inflation, supply chain management, um, a lot of changes. And I think that reflects in, in online information, web data. Um, you see enterprises try to, starting to uh, uh, trying to understand uh, what is the relevant information, how to collect that information and use it. Um, we see more and more use cases. So I would say the two main trends are one, uh, enterprise usage of web data, and two is the use cases uh, that are becoming more and more uh, varied and interesting. Uh, one of them is uh, around supply chain management. Um, Container Exchange is a company out of Germany that used to have visibility to uh, a thousand containers a day. And using publicly available information, they are used to they are they are able to uh, uh, have visibility to a million containers a day and create a marketplace around the freight and container, which is super relevant in uh, 2022. And maybe you can go into a little detail about uh, why it is you think it's important for companies to take advantage of public web data specifically. So we we've seen a, a change of uh, 30 cents for uh, a price of a gallon in the US, I think it was last week. Um, and that's a very simple example of how prices changes very often. A lot of information changes in, in such, a, such a year. Um, more job postings, uh, different food prices, um, supply so shortage. So if you want to have visibility into the market, web data is, is the way to go. This is the market, this is where things happen. Um, and it's amazing to see um, how enterprises adopted or US enterprises and market follow uh, to, to understand uh, the fast pace and how to make immediate decisions uh, in this year. And what would you say are the uh, biggest challenges facing companies today when it comes to data? I think um, when you look at, at the companies, they make a huge effort in collecting the information. Uh, there is a Gartner research um, that talks about 80% of the effort around collecting, uh, about understanding the information is ac actually collecting it. So I think the challenge uh, um, uh, this year or the biggest challenge is actually to understand what is relevant in such a huge amount of information and how do I make an efficient effort around it? How do I, uh, transition from uh, a lot of effort in collecting it into a lot of effort in understanding, use, utilizing it, making split uh, second decisions, making immediate impactful strategic decisions using that information. So the biggest challenge is actually transitioning from an effort around collecting it to an effort around understanding it. And uh, I guess, what are some of the key components that companies should be looking for in a modern data platform? I would say the three main components is relevancy, reliability, and compliant. The first thing about information is to, does this information, is this information relevant for the decision I'm looking to make? This is not happening in a vacuum. There are business decisions at the end of the process that have to be made. Um, is this information I'm collecting affecting my price change that I'm trying to make? Um, does this affect my business? And I think relevancy is, is, um, is first. Um, reliability. One data set is fine, but will, will I be able to get this information in a reliable fashion over a long period of time? Will the data set look the same, the first data set and the last one? Um, there's a lot of processes that are happening on how to collect the information about the technology behind it. 
um, about you know putting it in the right place and parsing it in the right uh, fashion. So reliability is is, uh, is crucial when you have such a robust um, effort around uh, making business decisions. Um, this is a year where we make a lot of decisions fast. Um, so you have to kind of maintain uh, the, the collection in a reliable fashion. And I think compliance is, is the last, uh, not, it's actually not uh, the least important, maybe the most important. Um, you need to know where the information was sourced from, who sourced it, how, what technology was used. Um, we see enterprises coming into this market and adopting the technology, and we see them looking at how we do it. Um, what is the information? How did the information um, uh, get to this, you know, to the state that it is today? Uh, compliance is very important. Um, at the end of the day, you want to trust the data that you are getting. And I think this is kind of uh, the three main components of getting there. And how important do you think uh, artificial intelligence and other technologies will continue to be in data management and collection? Uh, and also, what technologies do you think are the most disruptive in the near and long term? There is a symbiotic relationship between uh, the data industry and the AI industry. They use information to train their models. The more information, the better. And I think that's where the data industry comes, comes in. Um, web data is, is a massive amount of information available for them, um, of, of course, in a, in a compliant, reliable um, fashion. And I think that this is the trend that will continue in 2022 and 2023, where the data industry will continue and understand the AI industry and feed them with more and more information. We see that um, as a growing need uh, in the past few months. And we kind of talked about it at the beginning, how, you know, 2022 has been a little crazy. Uh, how, how has the industry changed over the past year? And uh, what are some of the new industries or sectors that Bright Data is seeing more of? And uh, are you seeing any emerging use cases? It's, it's a great year to do business, I think. Uh, we've learned so much. We've, uh, we had the, the opportunity to, uh, to be part of this um, changing ecosystem. Um, and I think the first trend that comes to mind is the enterprise adoption of web data. Um, the web data industry has come to a place where we generate value, where we are able um, to provide the data sets and the information in a compliant fashion that the enterprises understand. Um, and I think that speaks volumes. We see for Bright Data, uh, US enterprise is the uh, fastest growing vertical. And that's, that speaks volumes of, of our ability to provide uh, information for uh, um, serious businesses that are making serious business decisions. And, and it's, it's uh, amazing to see. Um, two main verticals that I think are, are most interesting as, as fast growing. One is the insurance industry. We're seeing more and more of uh, this, I would say 500 years old industry uh, making a change to use information, um, public information to make actuary decisions, uh, to make their core, uh, take information for the core uh, business and not just the, the periphery. And that's very interesting to see. Um, and the pharmaceutical market as well. Um, Amazon walking into the online um, marketplace has changed a lot. Um, and we see more and more pharma companies that are using uh, publicly available information uh, to make those decisions, to understand the market. And I think that's the second vertical that we see as a, a very interesting growth uh, vertical. Well, we've talked a lot about your product, but uh, maybe what would be helpful is to actually take a look at it. Uh, would it be possible to see a demo? I would love to. The way that our tech stack is, is um, set up is by layers or wrapping. The first or the core of our product is a proxy infrastructure. It's uh, four different proxy types, and they are um, monitored, and we have a KYC product, a KYC process around it. So basically, businesses use it to gather publicly available inf uh, information on their own, um, not in a free fashion, but in a compliant, monitored fashion. On top of that, we developed a data collection platform where enterprises and companies can use our technology 
to uh, collect publicly available information without developing technology of their own for the, for the data collection effort. And our latest product is the data sets. So you can buy ready-made uh, data sets of publicly available information that were collected by uh, Bright Data. So this is our um, dashboard that every customer uh, can log into and use. And you can set up different data collectors. Um, it could be retail, it could be SERP, it could be um, real estate, social media, um, and every uh, a different use case. I'll uh, use uh, a booking.com hotel collector. So a user might create a collector where he chooses uh, a place or a hotel name or hotel type, uh, check-in dates as inputs, right? We're seeing here the inputs. Um, there are different options you can add or, or uh, remove different inputs that you choose the same way a real user would uh, by choosing a hotel in booking.com. And then we are uh, able to start the data collector and um, or if uh, you wish to, this is a template that we made. Um, you can um, you have an IDE that allows you to change specific things. So you can use a ready-made data collector, but you can edit it for your own specific uh, needs. So here I uh, created a, a, a data collector per the template of uh, booking.com. And we can start and collect the information. Um, you can see the logs and you have the inputs. Um, and you so, you'll soon see the, the preview here of the browser itself, uh, collecting the information. And we'll start to see the, uh, the output soon. And this is a collector that runs the same thing over different booking.com versions. So they might have a version for the US and a version for the UK and for Germany and so on and so forth. So this will run and start to generate uh, different uh, different uh, collection uh, efforts and start to create the output. I won't bore you with the details, but the outcome looks something like this. So this is a data set um, of uh, booking.com um, of different apartments that are available. And here specifically, you have 1.9 million records and you, you're able to edit category, hotel ID, uh, country, if there's a state, a city and so forth. Uh, you can edit this data set before the uh, collector is running, or when you buy the, the data set, you can simply um, edit the, uh, the parse information as you see here. Um, there are a lot of vari uh, variables you can control. Uh, for example, if there, are, there is no hotel ID, don't collect the information, or if there's a specific regex within the information, retry. So there's a lot of um, availability um, of uh, flexibility. Uh, within the platform itself that allows you to collect the data set the way that you see fit. We have a lot of data sets that are available. Um, and I think they actually reflect a lot of the things that we talked to in the conversation. If there is a job postings, real estate information, um, a lot of the uh, public data that reflects the changes in the market. And um, you can, for example, uh, look at the job postings and start and filter them. For example, I would like to create to uh, monitor only job postings in the US. And then we can create a sample data set or the data set itself uh, for you to, uh, to download. Um, so this is a, a, a bird's eye view of the product of how to collect publicly available information. Uh, this is a, a sample, of course, um, but it kind of relates to the efforts that we're talking about enterprise businesses today have either the ability to develop the technology for themselves. Or the, actually, the trend that we're seeing is that they opt to uh, focus on analyzing the information and use reliable sources of information to, to collect the information for them. Um, and this is, uh, this is kind of it. Well, thanks again, Amri. That was a, a great demo. And we appreciate you taking time to speak with VM Blog today about this great topic. But before we let you go, where can viewers go if they want to learn more about the company and some of the things that you talked about today? We would love for the, your viewers, uh, Steam viewers and users to uh, uh, go into our website, uh, brightdata.com. Uh, feel free to sign up or approach us uh, 
uh, over social media, and we'd love to uh, answer any question. Great. All right. Well, thanks again. We appreciate your time today. Thank you, guys. Thank you, David and Brian.